Well, we fucking suck. Spurs win 122.99 over the Raptors. And this is just embarrassing, man. The Spurs, you know, two of their wins this year. I mean, never mind. It would have been two if he didn't blow it. Anyways, ignore that. The Spurs have 11 wins this year, and one of them is against us. We only have 19. We're fucking trash. The Spurs can help our lottery odds for the top six pick. Hopefully, you fucking get it. I don't care if it carries over to the next year because I think next year we'll probably. If I think if we get our top six pick, we'll trade the Indiana pick for a pick next year. Again, just to save, uh, you know, just in case. Again, if we we're good or you know we're not a lottery team, whatever the fuck. Anyways, um, yeah, Spurs dominate us in every way. Uh, let's go box score. First quarter to kick their out. Oh, not really. It was a six point game. You know, I was like, yeah, it's a six point game. Second quarter, we got brutalated. And it was like a 17 point game at half. And then again, we got brutalated. And then last quarter, obviously, to stop trying because they were up by fucking 30 or something like that. Whatever. Uh, anyways, Champagne did nothing. Sohan had a solid game. Um, still not a point guard because he had zero fucking assists. Victor Wembanyama, a triple double. 14 points, 10 blocks, 27 points, man. This guy's the future. That's all I got to say. Jones did nothing. Vassell fucking made five threes. The bench didn't really do that much outside. You know, Johnson, uh, Wesley, and Burham all got double digits. And for the Crafters, Scotty Bums played like shit. Pearl did meh. You know, not as good as before. Six rebounds, one assist. Yeah, he got... Barnes had five turnovers. Gary fucking sucked. Only four points. I wonder why no one wanted to trade for him. I guarantee no one wanted to trade for him. They can just get him for cheap at, in free agency. Uh, his value's gone. He's going to make less than $18 million if he wants, like, a multi-year deal. Maybe 15 at best. Uh, Barrett did solid for the minutes he played. Like... Well, five points, thirteen rebounds. I mean, th uh, thirteen points, five rebounds, two assists, a steal, five, four turnovers. Again, the turnovers were bad. Quickly, I thought his turnovers were worse. He played like shit. Two for twelve, one for nine from three. He played like shit. The bench. Kelly Winnick had a really good game on the bench. Man, six for ten, made a three, three steals, two assists, seventeen points. Good job for Kelly. His two games he's played with the Raptors have been solid. Uh, I don't care about McDaniels. Muhammad had a game. He he got a, a basket, three rebounds, good two blocks. Good job for the minutes. Bruce Brown had a good game, twelve points. You know, Noir, his little Mickey runs over Pearl, per whatever. Uh, Oche didn't do as good last game, and Gray Dick did really good. Made four threes, seven for ten, and eighteen points. So he did really good. Gray Dick, you gotta play him more. I would start him over fucking Gary Trent Jr. If I was honest, man. Fuck Gary Trent Jr. He shouldn't start. Just put Gary Dick in there. He's a better... He play. He can play shooting guard as well. He's, he'll be a big one, but, well... You know, you can punish fucking Gary for playing like shit and put him on the bench where he belongs. Um, And that's really it. Boucher is in the doghouse. He hasn't played in a while. Garrett Temple's old. So, that's the roster we're dealt here. Uh, team stats. And then we're out of here... And then I got to shout out a couple guys. Um, field goals, obviously, they were better. Three points. They only made three more threes. They, none of these teams shot well. It just felt it felt like the Spurs were just chucked. They were, like, a lot of contested threes, and they made them. Like, it's just the Raptors in general, man. Free throws, we missed three. They missed four. It didn't really matter. Whatever. Rebounds, we got fucking killed in rebounds, I think. Yeah, 37-25. Steals, they had more blocks. They had more. Victor had 10 blocks. So he had half the blocks of the Spurs. 19 each, but Victor has half of them. So Victor fucking cooked. Points off turnovers. What the hell? We had more points off turnovers. It was just interesting. Largest lead for the Spurs, 31. Largest lead for the Raptors, 0. <laughs> fouls, we committed more fouls, obviously. Points in the paint, 70 to 58. My God. And then fast break points, 18 to 12. So the Raptors play like shit next game. I'm probably going to call it, actually, on Wednesday. Because there's nothing on. We play the... 
we play the uh, the Pacers and we welcome Pascal Siakam back home. And uh, I'm I'm happy that uh, you know give him a standing ovation. He deserves it. He's one of the greatest Raptors of all time. Top five for sure. He's a great player, All Star type guy, um, All NBA. Uh, you know, most improved player champion. I love Pascal Siakam, but it was time for him to go because if he was on this team, he would be depressed, man. This team is not good. We have to wait till next year to, to see if there's any improvement or whatever in the offseason, the draft. And, yeah, this is what the team I thought was going to be, and I was happy that we traded OG and Pascal Siakam. You know, everyone's going to be like, oh, they suck. Well, there's a reason why they suck. Too much transition. In the in roster move, a lot of roster moves, which I like that, and a lot of um, you know, different pieces on this team, and that's why we suck. And we sucked at the beginning with Pascal OG, and all the other guys with the six nine bullshit. We sucked, but now we suck with young players who have to learn. So. That's really all I gotta say. Also, shout out to TSR Sports and the greatest barber of all time, the GOAT, August, Augustine, Augie, the GOAT. Shout out to him. Um, um, shout out to the Spurs. You know, they, they have a fucking star in Victor. They just they need to get some pieces, need to spend some money, get him a number two option, you know, because so ends all right. You know, I like Fassel, but they need another guy that's, like, just, like, half the level of Victor. Because Victor's a fucking beast, man. Uh, and that's all I got to say, guys. Peace. Go Raptors. And uh, welcome back, Pascal Siakam. And uh, that's it.